The United States government has awarded Muskan Khatun with the prestigious International Women of Courage Award for her work towards ending ACID attacks in Nepal. Marking the 111th International Women's Day, Muskan was awarded the certificate of the award at a virtually held ceremony connecting Nepal with Washington, D.C. this evening. We have a report. <laughs> Almost two years of facing an acid attack by a boy for rejecting a love proposal, 17-year-old Muskan Khatun sounds more confident and clearer about her life goals. She says she wants to become a lawyer or a doctor. Probably it is coming from the misery that she had to undergo at a tender age of 15, or the change she led and made successful by her exceptional courage in confronting injustice and advocating for changes to acid attack laws. Today, Muskan's name is added to the list of global role models. <laughs> The U.S. government recognized her with the prestigious International Women of Courage Award amidst a program virtually hosted by the First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, and Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, marking the 111th International Women's Day. U.S. Ambassador to Nepal, Randy Berry, handed over the certificate of the award to Muskan this evening in Kathmandu. On the occasion, the U.S. envoy said, ability to turn tragedies into something bigger than oneself is a rare existence. Uh, we believe that courageous women like Muskan have the ability to change the world. Uh, uh, and and those are, that change is realized through single acts of courage every single day, uh, just like we've seen Muskan uh, exhibit. The overwhelmed parents stand by her side committed to support their daughter's larger goal to continue fighting for injustice in any forms. Along with Muskan, 21 women from nations across the world received the award this year. To date, under the International Women of Courage program, the U.S. Department of State has recognized more than 155 women from over 75 countries. With camera person Kumar Sharma, Shivani Thapa Bosneth, NTV News.